the Church of the Nativity, we're going to see the three different gates at the entrance of the church. And now, what he's doing now is telling the officers how many we are and uh, where are we from. Our friends. No, 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 I'm waiting for you. I just was talking okay, because... So we see the Byzantine entrance up there. You must come to here if you want to see it. Yeah, the Byzantine entrance was up there. The good time it was Byzantine time is the best time here. Stable situation, a big empire, no problem. When the Crusaders came to land, 11th century, they won the big entrance and they made it a little bit smaller. So the arts is the second entrance, 12th century. We see that period. European countries, when they colonize here, so the third one, Ottoman Empire, Turkish time, blocked the arts and they made smaller. They called the humble gate to humble yourself, respect to the, to the place. At the same time, to prevent camels from getting through to the church, because the local people, they used to come to the church on the back of their horses and camels. Can you understand? Three periods in the entrance. Sixth century Byzantine, and second one, 12th century Crusaders, third one, 17th century Ottoman Empire, Turkish period. And the building that you see around, this is a crusader building addition. The crusades, they built fortification line around Sorry. the holy sites. Because they used to fortificate themselves around the holy sites. Because they found a strong resistance here. You know, they did a massacre in June. They killed almost 70,000 local people. So Christian Muslims, they fought against them together. Christian Muslims, they fought against them against Turkish together too. So it doesn't matter the religion because then you know the European people when they came here they didn't come you know to help they came to colonize. Even the crusaders they fight each other. We're gonna have the big battle of the piece of cake until Salah didn't kick them out from Hoyland. That's why so many things guys from Hoyland they have it in Rome in Europe. You know European people they took a lot of artifacts from historian Israel and Palestine to their countries. Like San Jerome, the guy who asked to be buried here, they, he came from Rome to here, and he asked he recommend to be buried here. The procedure that when they came here, and he was so buried they here. took his body from yeah. here, and they put it back, they sent it back to Rome. But the guy, he asked you to be buried here, why you took his body? Which means, you know, it's colonization. So that's, that's why... Mine, so, mine, 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 mine. Like you go to Chicago, you see Egypt, Egyptian artifacts more than Egypt itself. You know what I mean? So it's good to see the things in its right place. And the same story in 1947, when, uh, when they stole the Dead Sea Scrolls and they sold it to New York. And the Israelis later on, they got it back. For a million of dollars. Yes. From New York back to the shrine of the Book in the Museum of Israel.